Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, I'm gonna show you how to use skin modifier. It is the best way to create base mesh for sculpting. You can use this modifier to create simple character and automatically add an armature to it as well. Let's draw simple stick character firstly. Let's add skin modifier. Press tab key and go to edit mode. Let's enable x-ray mode by pressing alt Z. Now you can see the character semi transparent. To fix this, go to the viewport shading menu and increase x-ray value. Now. I can see the vertices underneath although I have solid mesh. Enable the symmetry in the x-axis. So, you can edit vertices symmetrically. In order to scale a vertex, select the vertex and press Ctrl A. If you only want to scale on the X axis, press Ctrl A and then press X key. If you increase the branch smoothing value, it kind of rounds off the edges or the angles in those areas. Let's go to front view and select the left arm vertex. Then, let's press E key and make three branches of it. Now, select the intersection vertex and click on mark loose. There we go. And you can see it joins that area together into one shape now instead of individual extrusions. To clear loose, click on the clear loose.
The symmetry option makes the topology symmetrical on the selected axis. Equalize radii option makes the skin radii of selected vertices equal on each axis. To make a vertex the root vertex, Click on the mark root. Root option is used to define which vertex the other vertices branches out from. The root vertex can have a huge impact on how your mesh is created. So, if our root vertex is in the center, we'll get better symmetry. Root option also is used to calculate how an armature is added. Let's press tab key to go object mode. Click on create armature. There we go. We have an armature for our character. We have just marked as root this vertex. So, this is our root bone. Let's go to pose mode. Select the root bone. We can move the armature around and rotate now. It automatically adds the all the vertex groups we need for this armature to work. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.